When you go to the neighborhood dairy to fetch your daily quota of fresh milk, you are most likely to find your Dudwala injecting the cows and buffaloes with oxytocin. In nature, oxytocin is a hormone secreted by the posterior pituitary gland of mammals. Synthetically prepared oxytocin is used for inducing labor in extremely difficult cases or for stimulating the mammary gland in cases of illness or disease. Why then do dairy owners use oxytocin before milking the animals every day? कर लेते हैं तो उसको भैंस का सामने रख करके और भैंस उसको चाटती है सूंघती है तो उस पर लग, लग जाती है और नहीं लगती है तो फिर उसके बाद इंजेक्शन का इस्तेमाल करते हैं आप भैंसों को टीका लगाते हो बड़ी मजबूरी में लगाते हैं वो तो आ, तो क्यों लगाते हो उसे उसे लगाते हैं अगर जो बच्चे वाली भैंस है और अगर जो बच्चे से बच्चा उसका मर जाता है तो उसके बाद हाथ से हाथ से पहुंचाते हैं उसको और हाथ से भी नहीं पहुंचती तो फिर मजबूरी में आकर टीका मारते हैं क्योंकि अगर उसे एक टाइम निकालेंगे तो भैंस भी बीमार होने का डर रहता है क्योंकि दूध का प्रेशर रहता है भैंस के दूध उसका निकालना जरूरी है अगर दूध नहीं निकाला तो उसका थन खराब हो जाता है इंजेक्शन आपको से मिलता है इंजेक्शन केमिस्ट में मिल जाते हैं केमिस्ट में मिल जाता है मतलब हर केमिस्ट में मिलता है या किसी किसी में इंजेक्शन तो केमिस्ट में मिल जाते हैं वैसे यहां बेचने के लिए भी आता है अलग केमिस्ट सेल में टीका लगाने के कितने देर के बाद दूध देती है ये करीब 5 मिनट के अंदर दूध निकाल तो कैसे भरोसे कर लेते हो कि ये टीका सही है क्योंकि जब भैंस का मारते हैं तो वो भैंस 1 मिनट जब टीका मारते हैं तो मुश्किल से 1 मिनट लगता है भैंस पहुंच जाती है तो अगर बाय द वे कि कोई गलत इंजेक्शन दे दे आपको तो आपको कैसे पता चलेगा वो तो अगर जो गलत देगा भी तो तो भैंस बका कोई भैंस बीमार हो गई तो मालूम हो जाए लेकिन आज तक ऐसा हुआ नहीं है हमारे साथ कभी भी ये आपको किसने बोला कि आपको इंजेक्ट होने के लिए इंजेक्शन के लिए मालिक बोलता है उसमें बोलेंगे ठीक है कोई आज से तो लग नहीं रहा मतलब बहुत पहले से लग मतलब है मतलब कोई एक दिन की दो दिन के बाद कोई है ये तो भैंसों को रोज टीका लगाते हो रोज ए, एक टाइम लगता है सुबह या शाम जिस टाइम भैंस ज्यादा लाता कूदी करती है दो दिन नहीं देते तो इंजेक्शन ठोकते हैं Whatever excuse they might give, the fact is that most dairy owners inject their cows with oxytocin to facilitate quick letting down of milk in the udders. Under natural conditions, a cow, buffalo or any other animal will produce milk only if it is suckled by a calf. But the profit-hungry dairy owners starve the newly born calves by not allowing them to suckle for long enough. The calf dies of starvation within two or three weeks after which it is sold to the meat and leather industry. A small portion of the calf's skin is stuffed with husk and the dead calf's head is sewn into it. The animal, in desperation, licks the dead head of its calf. In the meanwhile, the dairyman pulls out a two milliliter ampule of oxytocin from his stock, fills it into an unsterilized syringe and then pushes the injection into the animal's body. The animal jumps and cries in pain. The cow or buffalo is then milked after a gap of five minutes. The oxytocin injection is given at random anywhere on the body. In some cases, milkmen have also been found inserting this injection directly into the sensitive udder. 82% of the milkmen in India use oxytocin. It is injected twice, once in the morning and then in the evening. This hormone takes the pressure of milk in the udders to very high levels, and even the most obstinate of animals gives milk easily, just to get rid of the pressure. The regular use of oxytocin gives rise to serious infection of the mammary glands or the udder. The uterus loses its power to contract, and the liver and kidneys suffer irreparable damage. Millions of cows undergo the equivalent of two agonizing labor pains every day after being injected with this hormone. The oxytocin injected into the cow or buffalo finds its way into the animal's milk, which is later consumed by humans. In the human body, 
oxytocin acts as a slow poison. Prolonged consumption of oxytocin-laden milk may lead to loss of memory and reduced immunity, retarded growth, cardiac diseases, and diseases of the liver, kidneys, and the gastrointestinal tract. Children are affected the most. The overall effect of oxytocin on the population over the next decade is a cause for serious alarm. Is such use, or rather misuse, of oxytocin legal? Under the Drugs and Cosmetics Act 1940, the drug oxytocin falls under Schedule H, which means that no person, milkman, cattle owner, or even human patient can purchase the drug without having the requisite prescription from a registered medical practitioner or a registered veterinarian. Section 111C of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act, 1960, the PCA Act, prohibits any person from willfully and unreasonably administering any injurious drug or injurious substance to any animal. Section 12 of the PCA Act prohibits any person from performing or allowing any kind of operation upon any cow or other milch animal to improve lactation. It also forbids the injection of any substance to improve lactation, which includes oxytocin. Anyone who violates this law is punishable with a fine which may extend to 1,000 rupees per animal or imprisonment for a term extending up to two years, or with both. The animal on which such operation is performed shall be forfeited to the government. The licenses of dairy owners shall be cancelled as they violate the terms and conditions laid down by the local authorities for operating a dairy farm. The court may also prohibit the offender from having the custody of any animal of any kind whatsoever, either permanently or for a fixed period. These punishments apply to the animal keeper, helper, dairy owner, and the person injecting the chemical. Even the chemist or the drug retailer selling oxytocin injections without proper prescription can be prosecuted under the drugs and cosmetics rules. He or she is liable for imprisonment ranging between one to three years. A fine of not less than 5,000 rupees may be levied on him or her. Oxytocin injections are freely available with most of the chemists in any city. They are also sold at farm shops, tea shops, and any other general store situated near a dairy. They are sold for anything between 35 paise to 50 paise per ampule. The sale and use of oxytocin by dairymen is not only illegal, but also harmful for both the animals as well as humans you can put an end to this cruel, unethical, and illegal practice. If you find anyone selling or using oxytocin injections in an improper fashion, report the matter to the local animal husbandry department, or the Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or the police, or the local authorities. Always remember that the law is on your side. For more information on laws regarding animal welfare, Write to the Director, Animal Welfare, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Shastri Bhavan, New Delhi, 110-001.